Okay, this is going to be an exciting video today. Not a long one, but a good one, at least I think so, because I'm going to share with you at least what I have seen as the first 2022 refreshed GMC Sierra Denali that has a lift kit. It's been customized, different tires, different wheels. Such a cool looking truck. So with that, let's get going. All right, so if you've been following my channel for a little while now, you are probably more than well aware that General Motors GMC has come out with a new refreshed version of their 1500 series trucks for the 2022 model year. We have the 2022 Limited, which is like our trucks of the past from 19 to 21. And then we have what we call our 2022 refreshed GMC Sierra with a new front end, new interior, and so on. Actually, a new model as well in the AT4X. And just recently, finally, dealers across the country in the United States and now up into Canada are starting to receive their very first refreshed GMC Sierras. In fact, we should be getting one at our dealership at Proud Chevrolet here in Sault Ste. Marie very shortly. It's one that I sold actually an AT4 um, to a YouTube. YouTube viewer of mine actually so very excited that when that video or that truck comes in I'll definitely be doing a full walk around video on that to show you all the cool things about it and if I hopefully have another regular 2022 limited AT4 on the lot at the same time I'm going to show you a comparison between the new and the old but regardless of that today what I want to share with you is some pretty cool video footage that I finally stumbled upon and found of the very first that I've seen customized 2022 refreshed GMC Sierra Denali. Um, it, it's got a lift kit on it, different tires, different wheels. I'm really excited to show this to you today. Now, how I stumbled upon this was there was a post on a forum and I saw the picture and I went back to a YouTube channel that is run and it's called that wide dot bow tie. And I want to thank them so much for allowing me to use this video footage for this video to share with you and to show you this truck. Now, this gentleman is uh, working out of a place called Southern Tire. It looks to be in Atlanta, Georgia. Um, and how all this came to play and, you know, watching the video, uh, I want to share you some of the pictures of it, of course, or some of the video of this, of course. But basically what happened was a gentleman who lived in Florida uh, found a Denali at a dealership that had just landed in Texas. I believe it was Dallas. If they, I think that's what they said in the video. Flew to Dallas flew all the way, uh, uh, drove the truck from Dallas all the way to Atlanta. So these guys who know their stuff could put a lift kit and tires and wheels on it and then drove it back to Florida. Now, all that being said, check out this truck. It looks awesome in the white color. Um, what they basically did from, you know, what they're saying in the video is they put a six inch rough country uh, and they're, with the magnetic ride control. Uh, the wheels are 24 by 12 axe compression wheels and it's made it with that rubber, which is a 325-45-24 Nitto Terrain Grappler, uh, Nitto Terra Grappler, pardon me. Um, and also they had to do a slight uh, uh, fender modification, uh, the front and rear uh, there, which obviously, you know, so they can, you know, those those tires can turn because obviously uh, they are, are huge. Um, and it just, like I said, it's such a cool looking truck. I love that new front end. Uh, a couple of things I noticed in this video, because again, I haven't had one in person. I really like that they've actually relocated where the engine block heater cable is now. Um, that similar location where it was in the old one, but it was, it was hidden behind a piece of plastic, which was really annoying. So that's a cool thing. Um, and then they do show a little bit of the inside of the truck, of course, in here as well. You can see some of the trim that the Denali is going to have. Again, I haven't had a Denali person. So uh, again, thanks so much um, to uh, that wide dot bow tie for, for allowing me to use this and showed, showed all you folks out here. Um, and uh, anyways, and then they put it beside... Um, a older gen, uh, 1920, you know, 21 potentially generation Sierra in the black. And I really like that side by side comparison because you can now really see the differences in how the grill is designed, where the fog lights are. You can see a much more prominent fog light on the older style versus the new one being really small, uh, way down below, a uh, deeper grill on the newer style. Um, and then going back to the inside really quickly, uh, again, all the new refreshed interior, which obviously I love. And I really, uh, one thing I don't know if I like yet is the location of the, of the trailer brake controller. I noticed it's in a weird spot compared to where it used to be. Um, and I'm not sure I like where that is. But again, it's just, you know, change, right? And sometimes we're all uh, resistant to to that change. But anyways, again, I want to thank, again, a short video today. Uh, but I want to thank so much that wide dot bow tie for allowing me to share this video with you guys today. What do you think? Are you into the lifted trucks? What do you like better? Do you like the looks of the older style versus the new gen? Or are you, are, are you like me and like the new one? I don't know if it's just that I like it better or I just like the change because, you know, we're finally having a, you know, a newer front end look to it. But regardless, I'm going to be bringing you more videos. I got some exciting stuff coming down the pipe uh, very shortly. So stay tuned for that. And of course, when that AT4 comes in, I'll be sharing that full walk around video with you. But until next time, everybody, thanks so much for watching. Take care.